Hey everybody, it's Chris from The Droning Company here with Alex from Sunflower Labs. First of all, very nice to meet you, Alex. This is awesome. Now, when we walked in, I mean, your booth is right here at the entrance of the show, so it was hard not to see this guy right here. And as I explored your setup here, I learned a little bit more about what your drones do. But for the people that are watching this on our YouTube channel, you know, explain a little bit about Sunflower Labs and the solutions that you provide. That's good, thanks so much. So Sunflower Labs is an autonomous security system. So basically, it's a drone, lives in a box. Whenever there's an event, the dr box opens up, the drone takes off, it flies autonomously to where the event was detected, it takes pictures, it captures video, it detects people, it detects vehicles, it will send you alerts, it will then patrol the property. When it's done, it comes back, it finds its base station, it descends, it lands, it recharges, the doors close, and the system is ready to go again within seconds. That is incredible technology. And you know, what I find really interesting about it is the way that it actually locates the, the where it needs to land, it, using those lights and that sensor. Can you tell us a little bit more about that technology? Yeah, we designed, uh, we designed a really unique landing system. So the drone at the bottom here has a landing camera. The landing camera sees a landing beacon, which is inside here. When it comes back to its general vicinity, it will find the beacon and it will basically come down and micro adjust in order to stay in the center. But even if it's really bad winds, even if it's a really bad weather, it can land anywhere within this dish and still end up in the center. The system is designed for reliable landings, even in, in the strong winds. And so you can see as it touches within this frame, it just slides in, falls in the center, if it's going to touch the frame, it's going to end up in the center. If it's going to end up in the center, it's going to end up on the chargers. It will recharge and be ready to go again. That's amazing. Now, in terms of the chargers, uh, you know, I saw the charging system is very, very unique. It's a, it's a touch point charging system. Uh, let's talk a little bit about that and how that works. I saw the contact points on the bottom of the drone. Uh, can you explain a little bit for us? Yeah, it's a, it's a conductive charging system. These touch points right here are our charging pins. Okay. They are spring loaded, so it actually gives you a little bit of cushion. Here, you see the rings. These are gold plated rings in order to give you weatherization and high conductivity and basically we have a margin of error of about an inch so even if we are in the center we're always touching it and it doesn't matter what the orientation is as soon as you land the system actually figures out what the orientation is and turns on the polarity correctly oh that's excellent that's excellent now in terms of the way that you've uh, framed your company and the product that you have it's a little bit different than other what I would call security drone companies um, Sunflower Labs is sort of a bright and cheery name and that's sort of how you frame your product too do you care to explain you know what the thought process is behind that yeah thanks for asking um, yeah people people don't appreciate uh, the uniqueness of the branding um, it it is a security drone our primary purpose is to give you a peace of mind and we wanted the name to reflect that we want the name to be happy to be relaxing so the drone is called the bee the base station is called the hive and the bees love sunflowers and so we really thought that the whole the whole concept together just works that way and even our logo right if you look at our logo it looks a little bit like a flower but actually you can see that there's it's it's also two quadrocopters or a oh, bee yeah. if you see the thick lines that's a bee sitting on top of a flower oh, right so we just wanted it to be because we knew it's going to be used in residential settings we wanted it to be something that the entire family will enjoy as a brand and not just, you know, some kind of a scary drone sounding name that, you know, us guys would like. Sure, absolutely. <laughs> now, in terms of identification of, I'll use the word threats, but it doesn't mean everything's always a threat, but potential threats. How does the visualization system work on this when it comes to identifying people, objects and animals? Right, so uh, we train our system basically on vehicles, uh, humans and animals. We can train on any type of object. When it goes to a location, if it sees that object, it can track it, it can stay within the vicinity. Most likely, this is not about the threat. It's more about dispelling apprehension. Okay. So if you heard the noise, you didn't know what it was, fly out, take a look, it's probably a raccoon. You see it's a raccoon, the system comes back, lands, and you have the peace of mind. Okay. Excellent, that's good to know. Now, last question for you. People want to learn more about Sunflower Labs, want to learn more about the bee, the hive, where can they go to best do that? Sunflowerlabs.com, um, yeah, it, all the information is there. We're a pretty transparent company. Uh, we have a YouTube channel, we obviously have our LinkedIn channel, so just Google Sunflower Labs, you'll be able to find us easily, and you can see everything about it, or you can reach out to me, I'm Alex at Sunflower Labs. Okay, excellent. Hey, Alex, thank you so much Thanks, for your time. Chris. Really appreciate Pleasure. it, thank yeah. you. We'll